One of the most enduring horror movie tropes is the villain who won't stay down, where the final survivor will deliver nothing short of a nuclear blast to the face of their stalking menace, only to find out later that they've disappeared. It's used for many reasons and with mixed effect, but the key points are that it shows that this evil might never be defeated, and also that the studio is clearly trying to milk a sequel. However, have you ever wondered where the semi-defeated foes go after their spanking? Well, if they were keen on the kill, they'd be right back in the fray, but many seem to take some time off to get their bearings. Which is where this list comes in, because today we're going to take a look at video game horror icons that didn't slink off and go star in their own video games, but decided to invade other franchise and score a few unexpected kills in the process. Somehow, this makes their appearances all the more frightening as who knows where they might turn up next. So let's keep our eyes peeled in the hopes of not having our skin flayed as we look at eight horror icons who crossed over to the world of video games. Oh, by the way, my name's Jules, and this is WhatCulture.com, so let's get on with the list. Number 8. Freddy Krueger, Family Guy, The Quest for Stuff when you think of Freddy Krueger, chances are you think of what amounts to a near two-hour heart attack each time that he's on screen. As in each of the many, many films that this burned bad boy has been in, he finds new and horrifying ways to make you never want to sleep again. However, what's made the character so persistent in mainstream culture is because Freddy is a rare example of a self-aware horror villain. He mugs and muses to himself and truly seems to enjoy the work of torturing young teens, making him a character with a pile of memorable quotes as big as his body. Body count, which probably means that it's both quite surprising and at the same time not at all to find him make a cameo in Family Guy The Quest for Stuff. Now, I won't lie to you, this game is a pretty shallow experience, but at least Freddy is consistent with his real-life horror goals, as here you have to make Peter wet himself and prank a whole host of other members of the town in order to unlock Freddy as a citizen. It's kind of odd seeing him just chilling on the streets, but at least it answers what he gets up to in the daytime. Number 7. Predator Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is there a more ominous sound than the clicking of the Predator? Well, maybe the sound of your alarm each morning prompting you to get up for work, but still, I digress. From the moment that we laid eyes, or technically didn't, on the Predator in 1987, this bounty hunter from another world became an overnight success. Its hulking frame, incredible technology, and the fact that it's killing people just for sport all make the Predator a foe to be reckoned with. Over the years, many video game titles have sported the license, and each offered with varying success success, the chance to take down other players and steal their skulls. Yet very few people expected the galactic menace to show up in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, a co-op shooter that definitely leaned more into over-the-top action than it did grounded realism. However, thanks to this crossover event, the mission The Jungle Moved lets you and your team attempt to turn the hunter into the hunted. And this fight is brutally difficult, especially seeing as the Pred slaps on the camo cloak whenever it's damaged. However, if you're team is strong enough, you'll be able to claim its thermal vision for your own, and it is utterly brilliant. Just be prepared to leg it, as the Predator doesn't take being beaten very well and sets off an explosion in an attempt to kill you all. Talk about a sore loser. Number 6. Jason Voorhees – Dead Island when one thinks of the archetypal horror slasher, chances are they're going to think of Jason Voorhees. The man with a penchant for plunging his machete into people has been on the scene since 1980 and has racked up an incredible amount of bodies in his time. While the lore around him has been, let's just say, inconsistent at best, there's a few things that have remained steadfast. He will always catch you despite moving about as slow as molasses and is built like a brick privy. However, even Jason has tasted defeat in his time, even being burned to a Chris from falling from space in Jason X, which, yes, is as weird as it sounds, so of course the man is going to need a bit of R&R &R sometimes, which likely explains why we can find him in Dead Island on the tropical island of Benoit, trying to catch a tan and also murder the heck out of anything that he comes across, including, of course, you. Hitting with seven times the amount of damage of a regular enemy, Jason can likely one-hit kill even higher-level players, and much like his movie counterpart, he does not go down easily. Easily. If you can best this man, then you can get access to his machete and also a chainsaw from his shack. Now, I wonder who the chainsaw belongs to. Hmm, maybe we'll cover him later in the list. 
Number 5. Ghostface, Dead by Daylight So at this point in time, Dead by Daylight is basically a holiday getaway for horror icons, a persistently dark and gloomy world in which killers of all forms gather together to forever murder a group of young and terrified survivors. It's kind of what I imagine a team-building day would entail at Serial Killer Limited. The huge roster of this game truly is something to be commended, as all of the fan favourites are here, although I personally can't deny being more than a little annoyed that this is the first time that we've seen anything from Pyramid Head in years. But what I'm going to talk about today is the fact that Ghostface from the Scream franchise is a playable villain and boy howdy have they nailed his abilities. Stalking victims with his tactical knife weapon at the ready, Ghostface can choose one survivor to become obsessed with. This means that each time you hook your target, your terror radius is reduced by 4 meters per go, and this terror radius is what alerts the other survivors to your presence, so it's essential to keep as low as possible. With this and his ability to stalk huge distances, Ghostface is truly a terrifying presence, to say the least. And he's probably having a good laugh as well. Number 4. Nosferatu – Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption 2 is so packed with secrets that it is fit to burst, with people still discovering tiny moments that heighten the immersion to this day. And as you might expect from the twisted minds of Rockstar, some of these experiences are completely weird. From aliens appearing over towns to straight-up cannibals who roam the woods at night, there's a lot to put you on edge. Especially if you encounter this beautiful homage to Count Orlok from the ultimate vampire film film Nosferatu. If the player follows a series of puzzling messages that are scrawled on walls around Saint Denis, you'll eventually unlock a special marker that leads you to the vampire. As you round the corner, you'll find a tall, pale, and oddly dressed man drinking the blood from an innocent victim. As Arthur exchanges words with the creature, he reveals that he has been alive for centuries and has been called by many names. It's pretty haunting stuff, which admittedly can be undone if you just simply blast them apart, but if you're not quick enough on the draw, this being will slice you down in just one hit from his ornate dagger. It's genuinely surprising to see the Count out and about, but it's in perfect keeping with his terrifying legacy. Number 3. The Xenomorph – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles – Turtles in Time the sheer popularity of the Xenomorph is as big as its desire to kill anything that crosses its path, and when it comes to video games, the Xenomorph has been referenced countless times. You can find a full parody of the egg-burning scene from Aliens in Far Cry 3's Blood Dragon expansion, and then there's the fact that the Metroid series contains a female lead and that Samus' biggest enemy is named Ridley, and there's tons of other nods to the franchise in other video games. However, I bet you didn't expect to see the Xenomorph, or an interpretation of it, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this is a bit of a strange reference, but bear with me. As when you play through the sewer surfing level, you'll be attacked by what looks like a cat slash squid slash xenomorph hybrid. Now, the game calls this character a pizza monster, as it did in the animated TV show, but there's no denying that that design doesn't look familiar. And if this isn't enough to convince you that the xenomorph has invaded the TMNT universe, take a look at the sewer mutation xenomorph action figure, which is based directly on this creature. Therefore, even if this creature is isn't a true and blue alien, it ended up being turned into one. Number 2. Frankenstein – Castlevania 1 now, I could have easily put Dracula or the Mummy from Castlevania on this list, but you know what? The fearsome fanged foe has had enough time in the, uh, the sun, I guess, although that would kill him, and the Mummy has had its own slew of video games, but old Frankie here, well, he's not had much of a chance to shine. And to be honest, it was quite shocking to actually see Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster if you want to get technical about it, showing up in Castlevania. It's like Dracula was having a Universal Pictures movie party that Simon Belmont is just crashing for the laughs. However, you won't be laughing when battling Frankenstein, because while this big bad boy is slow, he's not alone. Now, Igor, or Igor, depending on how you want to pronounce it, will jump around the stage with some truly horrible patterns and will absolutely brutalize your health pool. There are ways to cheese this pair, but if you're clueless and in the dark, this terrifying gruesome twosome will absolutely have your life. Still, it's great to see him getting work after the run of movies dried up, and you know what? His movements here are much less stilted than his acting was in Van Helsing. Ooh. Sick burn. And number one, Leatherface, Mortal Kombat XL. One of the most endearing features of the latest NetherRealm games is that not only do they offer fantastic narratives, extremely rewarding gameplay, and fantastically gory aesthetics, but they also cater to a rapidly nostalgic fan base by adding in a ton of pop culture characters from other franchises to have an almighty scrap with. Hellboy makes an appearance in Injustice 2, Robocop rocked up in Mortal Kombat 11, and in Mortal Kombat X and 
XL? Well, we got every horror fan's dream as Predator, Alien, Jason, and Leatherface all crawled from the depths of fear itself to obliterate other combatants. However, for me, Leatherface was a true force to be reckoned with, as before this point, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre had only seen one video game outing back on the Atari 2600, and uh, it was utter garbage, to put it lightly. Therefore, being able to cave in heads with hammers, furious swings, and of course, lashings of brutal chainsaw attacks is a sickening joy to behold. Plus, thanks to his quite frankly ludicrous range and low dashes, you'll be able to constantly apply pressure to your opponent, making them likely panic, and for Leatherface to truly achieve the perfect tone in this cameo appearance. You've gotta love him. And there we go, my friends. Those were eight times horror icons appeared in video games. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, which is my personal gaming channel, where I stream every Wednesday and Sunday. 